Hello, you're watching a specially extended edition of Power Lunch. I'm Ross Westgate. And I'm Louisa Boyes, and indeed it is very special. It's the second day out of three here at the Cannes 3GSM Association coverage for the telecoms uh, conference this time around. And we will be right back with lots more when it comes to the CEOs. First of all, though, let's bring you to speed with the latest on the headlines. Germany's IFO index surprises with its first fall in 10 months as the euros rise against the dollar hits expectations. Current conditions show a slight improvement, but the Institute says the reading is a small warning signal for the recovery in Europe's largest economy. Okay, let's get back out to Cannes. Yes, Ross. Hello, everyone. Once again, I'm standing here with Ken Blakesley now beside me. He's the chairman of Web Mobility Ventures. He's also the fashion show director, and we went to quite a magnificent fashion show yesterday. Uh, funnily enough, the entire fashion show was full of men for whatever reason. Couldn't have been that there. There were lots of skimpy, uh, skimpy little outfits in the well, fashion it's, show. It's just to show how wearable this stuff yeah. is. <laughs> what are these then? Besides very smart, obviously. <laughs> okay, these are from a company called Microvision. They, are, they enable you to uh, see a full screen display in your eye. Full color, full screen, as if it was a computer terminal. Not a small screen on a mobile phone. It does it through some clever techniques. It actually uh, scans and paints the image on the back of your eye. And let's just get a look at this one as well. This is quite fascinating for the ladies, <laughs> isn't it? Well, tell this, me what this, this is. This is the... Uh, uh, Ex Libri mobile phone, basically. You, uh, you can fix your lipstick and also uh, text to your heart's content. Aha, so both in one. But if you keep it facing towards you, nobody knows you're reading your, your SMSs and your emails. That's true, of course, <laughs> that's true. So you just look like a, like a makeup junkie then. Really. Yes. Actually, yes. <laughs> how, about, um, how about this? This is quite that's smart. That's a, uh, a music player that's specifically designed for exercise. So it's very much designed to go around you, so you wear it. It's a very wearable item and very soft to the touch but uh, it doesn't get in your way while you're exercising. See, this, this would be great. It seems great because I'm one of the ones that I run with, mm -hmm. a, with a Walkman oh. or Discman on my side. But, but do you think, do people, will people actually buy stuff like this? Well, it's, uh, it has the uh, Nike brand on it, so uh, we'll see. <laughs> does indeed. Ross, stuff, Louisa, yeah. uh, we'll and see you in a few. Throw your stuff down to a fashion show too and take a look there at the same time. Exactly. You see, that's my idea of uh, mobility is, is a, um, a model on a catwalk. Now, um, we'll take a break, Louisa. More to come. We're going to head back out to the GSM conference in Cannes. Louisa will be joined by the President and Chief Operating Officer of Alcatel. Also, Richard Brenner, Executive Vice President of Orange, will be speaking to us. Um, meanwhile, as the strength of the euro takes a bite out of German business expectations, it also has raised doubt over its recovery. Let's take an in-depth look at today's IFA number and what uh, we can expect out of the U.S. consumer data. Joining us is our economics commentator, Bill Hubart. Bill, good to uh, see you. Um, let's just kick off on, on, on IFA first of all. The numbers have been so strong um, anyway. The, it, it, is this anything more than a natural kind of pullback. No, I mean, it, it, we saw hardly any move in the, in the equity markets, the bond market, foreign exchange market after it happened. We'd seen 10 consecutive rises here. The, the current conditions was the highest in more than three years. The future expectations was at a 10-year high. The market was expecting some type of retracement. Watching a specially extended edition of Power Lunch live from the 3 GSM conference on the French Riviera. It's day two of the event, and CNBC has been speaking to some of the biggest players in the industry. Okay, Lou, thanks very much uh, indeed for that. That's just about good uh, bye from me as well, as far as this end is concerned. I, I suppose, Lou, the big decision now is um, where to go for lunch. <laughs> It's already planned, Ross. It's already planned. I'm going to try to get on one of these boats and go far, far out with, uh, with a nice pair of shorts and a T-shirt, I think. <laughs> OK, Louisa, thanks uh, for that. That's it for today on Power Lunch. More from Cannes tomorrow. Hello, you're watching a specially extended edition of Power Lunch. I'm Ross Westgate.
And good morning, I'm Louisa Forrest, no good afternoon rather, we're having so much fun down here, it's hard to tell what time of day it is, but one thing I can tell you is that we're looking at talking to the CEO of Gem Plus up in a couple of minutes, that'll be interesting. Let's get more on the London markets, currency factors certainly playing a factor in earnings around Europe, joining us at the London Stock Exchange, once again, Steve Sedgwick. Good, uh, good morning again Ross, yes, London market, or good afternoon even just about here in London, the FTSE 100 down around about 9.4 points at the moment. The future trading around the 44.74 mark. The French market right now, the Cancron is nearly absolutely flat. Joining us is Alison Morris, who's anything but. Well, thank you, Ross. I tell you, you power lunch folk are very, very kind, always. Even without Kavita, you're always very generous with your compliments. Okay, thanks very much indeed uh, for that, Alison. Now, we're gonna stay in France. We're gonna skip from the capital down to the Côte d'Azur. Rejoining us from Cannes is Louise. And Louise, how's the weather today? It's nice, Ross. It's a bit chilly. I've been told by the CEOs whose hands I've been shaking that I'm, I'm a bit cold, but, uh, but they're nice and warm. One of the nice and warm uh, people here uh, right beside me is the CEO of Gem Plus, uh, Alex Mendel. You have a nice warm hand. Well, thank uh, you. You also are the world's leading player in the smart card industry. Alex, what are you doing tonight? I'm having a dinner with customers. Oh, how lovely. Alex. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You. Alex Mendel, the CEO of Gem Plus. Ross. Thank you for having me. That wasn't an ask for a date, was it, Lou? <laughs> no, it's I, not. I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. It's, uh, you know, I've just been told that the, the big parties happen on the last night yes. of, these, uh, of these conferences. Well, uh, we, actually, we have a part. Um, we're off the air, I presume. Uh, we're not quite off we're the air quite yet, off but the air. you have a little party But uh, Gem Plus has, yeah. uh, has a party tonight, <laughs> and uh, I will certainly stop there by that. Go. And then after that, we're having uh, dinner with, uh, with customers. That sounds lovely. Right. So uh, that's it from here now, Ross. Well, I'm pleased to know where the parties are. That's the, that's the important yeah. thing. Louise, thanks very much. Uh, Alex Mandel as well, thank you very much. Still to come here on Power Lunch. It's day three of the GSM Telecoms Conference in Cannes. So what do you thank think you. about all that talk of m and activity within the telecom sector? We'll be asking Julian Hewitt from Oven. See you in a few moments' time. Welcome back to an extended version of Power Lunch here on CNBC Europe. I'm still in Cannes. This is the third and the final day of the 3GSM uh, conference that's going on, the global conference, and there's some big buzz issues out there. Today, the real buzzword has been the vendors versus the operators. I'm Louisa Foyerson. It's changing in, in, in a number of ways, unpredictable ways, exciting ways, both in corporate world, but most of all in the personal world still. David, I thought you were a lot younger than 42. That is uh, David Levin joining us uh, here live in Can, the CEO of Symbian, Ross. Okay, Louisa, thanks very much indeed uh, for that. We'll be going back out to Can in a few moments' time. Before that, let's switch our focus to the macroeconomic side. Bill Hubbard joins us to talk interest rates and look ahead to Alan Greenspan, uh, who's speaking once again today. Um, <laughs> always gets focus, obviously, when he speaks, but do, I don't suppose we should expect any change, should we? Not at all. And I think, Ross, if you're looking at the three central banks, you could see a rate cut, a rate hike, and an unchanged. Mm -hmm. And I think if we look here in the Eurozone, as we've seen in the last 24 hours, business and industrial confidence after eight, nine, ten month highs now started to decline. So um, I suppose the question as far as the ECB was concerned, well, will they care if there's a drop in inflation? Um, I mean, they, they seem to take the view they don't want to be <laughs> well, ahead, the, ahead of the curve, behind the curve, on the curve. They seem to take the view if, as long as, if we're steady, the curve will meet us at some point. It would be quite interesting to see what they say. The market is not expecting any change next week. Hello, Ross. Hello, everyone. Once again, all our papers are flying all over the place here. And beside me, I have now got Naguib Sawiris. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. More or less. How do you, how do you pronounce it? Nagib Sawiris. All right. And you are the chairman and the CEO of Oroscom Telecoms. That's right. Now, first off, just tell us that where do you operate? Where are your main markets? My main markets is North Africa, Egypt, uh, Asia, up to Pakistan. So I'm in Algeria, Tunisia, Egypt, I'm in Iraq, and in Pakistan. These are the main markets. Nagib, thank you very much. I told you to come closer a second ago. Now I'll come a bit closer <laughs> to you. Uh, Nagib Suwiris from uh, Oroscom Telecom, uh, the CEO and the chairman of this company. Don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll be right back up uh, with you after the break. Here from somewhat sunny Cannes.
one more chance to head out to camp where the weather today is just a little bit more cloudy than it has been but there are all the boats that's where all the CEOs have been meeting and now on one of those boats that's looking pretty slick you will find our very own Louisa Boyesen and she's moved on to the yacht to uh, have a meeting and have a chat with Michael Butler the global MD of Inmar sat. Louisa, nice to see you there. Looks like a very good boat. Oh, it's a very, very slick boat, Ross. I have to say, it's looking a little bit more slick than some of the other surrounding boats. That's not quite true. They're all very, very shiny. I've seen many people out uh, washing the boats off from the muddy rain that we had over the weekend. But it's set to be a, a, a lovely evening, isn't it? I have here beside me uh, James Tucker, Tucker, James Tucker, James hi, Tucker. welcome We've to Imarsat. We've just been introduced uh, from Imarsat, and uh, let's go let me, on board, let me shouldn't take we? You on board, you first, oh. I feel. Ooh, my goodness. You can't be too many people on here, can you? <laughs> and Michael welcome Butler, aboard. very, very nice Give to meet you. Glass of champagne. Oh, my goodness, look at the treatment you get around here. It's just amazing, isn't it? So how has the, uh, the, the GSM conference been for you? Uh, it's been a great week this week. We've been very busy. And you see, we're still full up now with, uh, with customers and, uh, and partners. Uh, it's been, uh, been a great week. Michael, thank you very much. Uh, Michael Butler joining us, uh, the, uh, the CEO of Imarsat. And now it's time to play, isn't it? That's I think after a hard day's work, a nice glass of champagne yeah, never hurt anybody. Uh, Ross, I've uh, got a bit of business to see to. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, we've got to leave you now, Ross. Okay, Lisa, well, it's been great to have uh, you there at Cannes over the last three days. And I think we leave her uh, in fairly good hands, uh, I hope, anyway. That's Louisa, that uh, concludes our coverage here on Power Lunch, a special extensive coverage of the 3GSM conference in Cannes. That's it for Power Lunch today. I'm off for a couple of weeks, so uh, I won't see you until then, but have a good afternoon. Up next is Squawk Box US style. We'll uh, just leave you with a few last shots of Louisa in Cannes.